एडवांस होल विद दी हेल्प ऑफ एडवांस टूल वी कैन क्रिएट मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ होल एट द सेम टाइम सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट क्लिक चेंज ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ होल विद दी हेल्प ऑफ एडवांस टू होल टूल इफ यू ड्रॉप डाउन होल विज आर्ट विल फाइंड एडवांस्ड होल नाउ हियर वी हैव टू टैप्स वन यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दी टाइप एंड अनदर वन इज पोजिशन सो इन टाइप वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट दी स्पेसिफिकेशन और टाइप ऑफ होल्स सो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इफ यू कम डाउन नियर और फार साइड फेसेस सो लेट से आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट नियर साइड फेसेस आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दिस वन नाउ इन दिस फेस यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब द स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ होल वंस यू सेलेक्ट दिस वन दिस नियर साइड ओपन नाउ इफ यू चेक दिस here you have to select the type of hole so first this is by default counter bore selected okay now this is the insert element below active element insert element above active element this is our first so i am going to check first one now here you have to define the specification of counter bore hole inches now first i am going to select hexagon bolt now here i am going to define m16 you will see now this is according to system if you want to override or change the thing simply change from here see let's say okay let's keep this one as it is now again if you want to add hole below this element so here comes select insert element below active element say okay now here see this is created there one option called delete active element delete insert reverse forward now here i am going to add hole let's say now specify this hole diameter drill size let's say i am going to define this 14 diameter okay now even though you can customize hole from here blind size now here let's say you can define the depth let's say 10 mm or 20 and from here you can select see drill point flat bottom so i am going to select flat bottom see even though you can add if you want to add more you can simply add more hole from here but i am not going to choose now comes up and here select far side far side means from this side select this side see now from this side you will see this far side open see now here i am going to add far side counter bore specification metric hexagon bolt and here size i am going to say let's say 20 and uh, here i am going to select blind and let's say depth 20 see now here i want to add insert element above active element so i am going to select this option metric hexagon bolt and here let's say i am going to change this is i am going to make this one threaded and uh, tap the bottoming hole this is the size of this and here i am going to select tap drill diameter with cosmetic thread it will show you cosmetic thread also here now here blind condition choose up to next element it will meet up to the above hole let's say okay you must select a point on the face to locate the hole okay now here we have to define a position so let's say i am going to select here press escape key to out smart dimension and let's define the position 35 even though from here to here 
50. Now say OK. Now right click, change transparency. Option, documents property, detailing cosmetic thread. OK. Now see, you will see the cosmetic thread here. See? Let's do one more time. Advanced hole. Now far side, near side this one. This time I am going to choose counter bore, counter sink. metric and here I am going to select socket countersunk head cap okay now this time I am going to select M16 fine now blind condition we will keep as it is okay let's add here below active element I am going to add here simple hole see metric drill size and drill size I am going to select seventeen point five because the below diameter of this counter is seventeen point five so flat and blind condition I'll define after this here select far side choose this one see here countersunk from far side now here up to next element here I am going to define socket countersunk head now here size M16 the same size what I want up to blind and here 8.05 see now select second one the middle one I want to extend up to here so in blind condition select up to next element you will see the preview say yes it is asking you would you like to face the locate hole say ok now click somewhere here press escape key smart dimension and you can define the dimensions let's say 30 and uh, Press and hold shift key and select this point horizontal. If you go to okay, this look better. Say okay. Okay. Right click on hole and change transparency. See, this is how we created a hole. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.